As many of you who have followed my channel for a while will know, you pool buggers. I don't exactly have the most keen interest in the sport known as football, or which, if you're on the wrong side of the pond, you might know as soccer. Well, apart from having this old England jacket as part of my retro clothing, you could say I have exactly, precisely, zero interest in it. It could be just for this reason that one of my buddies, known as Neil Simpson, or Brian Blessed to his friends, has decided to torture me by donating a game, and I use that term in the loosest possible sense, that is all about one single aspect of that sport. Now normally I'd show my appreciation to this kind of thing with a swift kick to the balls, but his wife decided to slap him in the face instead. But, on this case, upon examining said product, I can see where he's going with this because it looks, well, let's not put too fine a point on this, a little bit shit. And shit means entertaining. So enough babbling, let's look at this potential travesty. And, as is traditional, let's start by looking at the box. A quality box is, after all, usually the sign of a quality product. And you know, first impressions always count in, oh Jesus, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? It seems we have one kid who is moving so fast that the edges of his body have blurred. How the bugger is he going to stop in time? Must be one bloody huge room to give him enough room to stop. Never mind the amount of space it would take to get up to that speed, unless you're some kind of mutant kid with special powers. Slightly more disturbing than even that is the insanity that is going on behind the wonderful early 2000s CRT TV. The other kid, who seems to have given up on the crapness of this virtual game, decided it's time to play with a real, if a bit of a small football, and is about to crash into the TV. There's going to be blood and guts flying everywhere. Perhaps these two were moving so fast that this is the last frame of film before the gory tragedy, and the marketing team people thought, well, that looks good, safe and normal. Moving swiftly on. Also on the box, which has seen better days, but this was found at a car boot sale for the pricely sum of £1 after all. It gives us some details of what this thing is capable of. Well, not much I feel, and it's going to be rather naff anyway, so once more, moving on. The back is just the same shot taken three hours later, when all that remains is the hardware after all the blood and guts has been removed. They just made this one to show their mothers that they did successfully clean up the bodies, and to give you some idea of what the buttons do. There is, after all, an instruction sheet included. Inside, we see the folded up game mat, with its integrated computer, and the instruction sheet. The, the instruction sheet. Damn car boot sales! Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to have to get on with this blind, aren't I? But, it'll not quite blind, because I've got glasses, but oh, you know what I mean. Any cow, let's unfold this extremely crinkly thing and see what we have here. Well, we have a mat with artwork that I assume this meant to represent something that they call a goal in the sport. But why is the goal being attacked by vast amounts of tennis balls? Surely these should be footballs. Um, sorry, I mean soccer balls. Anyhow, it's got options on the side for start and select, and this ball type thing, and uh, well, this is not a very good sign, is it? We haven't even got to put the batteries in, and it's telling us about kicking it. I assume the only reason you'd actually kick it is out of frustration, but it's nice of them to inform us where we can actually cause maximum damage to it. May come in handy later. Okay, on the top of the, the ball thing, we have power, the sensor, and a reset button. On the rear, you have the battery port. So let's put some batteries in, plug it into the TV, and give this thing some life, and uh, what the actual bleep. My ears! I think they're going to explode! That's the most horrendous intro music I've ever heard, and it's only six seconds long. It doesn't even attempt to meld into the next loop, it just starts again. Okay, let's look at the menu. Easy enough, just press start on the mat. To scroll through the menu, we stand on select on the mat, then stand on start, when we have the option we want. So, let's start with the practice, and I have a strange feeling there is not going to be much practice involved. It's a simple concept, wait for the arrows in the box to go where you want, when the power bar is at the level you want, kick! No door. Okay, maybe not that simple, let's try again. 
power up. Kick! Shite! No door. He's mocking me. He's mocking me with that evil grin. Okay, on to the main game. Player versus computer. No idea how you play this with a second player, as there are no controls for the goalie. Give it to this, the animations are fun whether you win or lose. Apart from that one mocking me. Yes, he's doing an impossibly long jump to celebrate, and they could have put more effort into the goal announcer though. This winning goal just sounds like once to get it over with. And the applause audio is ridiculously short. Something's starting to click here. If this just depends on timing, that means the sensor there has no direction or detection. Do we even need to kick it? Nope, turns out I can just wiggle my foot over it. Or even my finger. What the actual... This thing is just timing luck, no actual skill. Okay, this thing may be good for the occasional party for five minutes before everybody gets absolutely sick of it. So, it turns out that this thing is rubbish. It is a complete evil piece of... What the hell? to go complete retro game of VX on its ass! Right, I hope you enjoyed the video, and just before that thing comes to get me, uh, just enough time to tell you that uh, if you're watching this in 2017, on the 1st and 2nd of July in Gateshead in the UK is the NERG, that's North East Retro Gaming Conference, Festival, whatever. And uh, on the Saturday, the 1st, I will be there, and some of the local YouTubers will be there, and I will, if everything works, be transmitting live to my channel. So if you're there, come and say hello. I should be at the door when it opens uh, inside filming you coming in. So if you're early, you might be seeing yourself on my channel and uh, you might be seeing yourself on a uh, non-live video I'll be shooting as well. So if you're able, check it out. There's links to the website below. Uh, get yourself tickets because there's a limited amount of tickets available for this venue. So loads of arcades, loads of people, all good fun. Come along. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoy these sort of videos, then please subscribe and the uh, social media and Patreon links if you want to support the channel down below. So thank you very much. You need to. Uh,